What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to remove or change the footer credits on your WordPress website. Okay, um, some, some themes can be somewhat difficult um, and some of them are very easy to do this. All right, but this, this is how I do it. All right, so first example is this is a standard uh, theme that WordPress gives us. Okay. And you'll see at the bottom, these are the credits, proudly powered by WordPress, and it links back to WordPress. Obviously, we do not want that on our website, okay? So the first place you should always check when you're on your WordPress site is the customizer, okay? So I'm going to click on customize here, and you can access that back in the dashboard area as well. All right, but when this pops up, okay, and this is all fed from your theme, okay, every theme is a little bit different. All right, as you can see, um, they do have a header area here, all right, but this theme does not give you footer credits, okay, it doesn't give you controls over the footer. Um, and this here, this footer area is uh not the credits part of it it's the information that goes whoa what is going on it's the information that goes this part right here um so this is part of your footer but these are the footer credits so it's not this theme is not you know it's not going to give you the option here in the customizer to change the proudly powered by wordpress all right you can change this stuff all right but not the footer credits all right, so that is not an option, okay? So let's get out of here, all right? So if you do not have the option in the customizer, this is what you can do, all right? There is a very easy, handy theme, uh, excuse me, plugin called Remove Footer Credit, okay? So you go to the plugin directory and just type in Remove oops, Footer Credit. All right, and that is what it looks like. All right, I already have it uh, installed and activated. So once you have that installed and activated, come over here to Tools, all right, then Remove Footer Credit. I'll show you how this works, okay? So it, it works basically on a uh, find and replace type thing. All right, so let's pull up the website here in another tab. Okay, and here it is, proudly powered by WordPress. So what we want to do is we want to highlight this, copy it, okay, come back in here. So it's going to search for this text on the page, and then it's going to replace it with what you want to put in here. So let's just type footer credits, all right? And it gives you the full editor, so you can do whatever you want, like uh, linking stuff. Uh, for example, let's let's link footer to uh, I don't know. Let's just link it to a sample page here on the website, or you can link it to whatever Google.com or <laughs> wherever you're sending people. Okay, so I'll hit apply. All right, we'll hit save. And then we'll go back over to the website, we'll refresh. And as you can see, those credits are now gone. Footer credits is down here and footer is linked to that sample page. All right, so that is how you change it on this type of theme, all right? I'm gonna give you another example, all right? So let's go back in here, okay? And let's say you have a more ad uh, advanced, uh, maybe like a paid theme, okay? So on here, let's say you have Divi theme, all right? Let me activate Divi. Okay, Divi makes it very, very easy, um, as do other paid themes. But let's go to the website, visit site. All right, so Divi theme is installed. And as you can see, down here are the credits, designed by Elegant Themes, powered by WordPress, okay? So obviously we don't want that, we want that gone, right? So like I said before, the first thing you wanna to try to do is go to the customizer, okay? And, oh, there it was, I already clicked it. So you go to appearance, go to uh, customize.
all right? The customizer is going to pull up, and like I said, Divi makes it easy. Um, you come on down here to footer, click on footer, and then they put it in the bottom bar, okay? All right, all you have to do is disable footer credits, and it goes away. Easy as that, all right? So they just have a, a, a one check mark box um, if you do want to replace this um, you can just enter in whatever you want footer credits all right and as you can see it's just uh, putting it in there now this is an html box so you can put html in there um, you'll have to write that up in like a, a post editor so then you have uh, you know you can do your links and whatnot whatever you want to put down here okay so disable and there it goes away um, and that is how you do it all right and that works um, a, a lot of themes are starting to put their options in that customizer to where you can go in footer in the footer um, section and just edit out those credits um, but everything is a little bit different so those are two different ways that you can do it um, if somebody ever tells you to do this if they ever tell you to go to appearance and go to theme editor all right and they tell you to mess around with this code here and go to like the footer PHP like this right here if they ever tell you to do this don't avoid it at all possible causes it can break your site um, it can be very hard to find in the first place and when you do an update on your theme if you're not using like a child theme all of your options are gonna get overrided overwritten anyways um, and then you have to start back from scratch so I would not do that just use the plugin if you want um, but if you can avoid using the plugin avoid using the plugin and just change it with the customizer so those are two different ways that you can do it um, there are other ways that you can do it as well but you know those two ways are gonna fix 99% of the problems if you got questions or concerns Drop a comment below. I'm happy to help. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.